Morning. Someone really ought to clean this mess up. What do you want? They asked me to speak to you. So Saburo Arasaka's returned. In Yorinobu's body. We live in strange times. Not freaked? That doesn't faze you? Half my life I worked to give Saburo Arasaka immortality. In so doing, I grew accustomed to the thought of his... Uh, resurrection. It's not just his immortality. Saburo stole his own son's body. Saburo is the first human to ever reach for and achieve a divine state. The gods stand above good and evil. No. Alt Cunningham was first. A surprising comparison. Yet accurate on many counts. Fine. So what do you have to tell me? I fear I'm the bearer of bad news. Listen to me. The procedure was a success. We removed the biochip. But the damage it wrought proved enormous. At the genetic level, altered DNA. The kind you would find in those suffering from radiation sickness. And sadly, it's lethal. So you're telling me I'm gonna die? All the options have yet to be exhausted. How much time I got? Approximately six months. Then things will deteriorate quickly. The time before your ultimate demise will be worst. Most taxing. What other options are there? Already gone under the knife once. Arasaka Corporation has the capability to cheat death. All we require from you is a dose of trust. Trusted you once already. Fat lot of good that did me. You may join our pilot program. Secure your soul. I fear your body is no longer of any use. You must abandon it. We will create an engram of your mind and store it in Mikoshi. Store it? Why can't I just get a new body? We have yet to solve the compatibility issue. Doesn't sound like you had much of a problem with Saburo Arasaka. You have no offspring. Nor do you have an entire clinic focused solely on your care. So let's say I agree. I'll land in Arasaka's soul prison. Put myself at their mercy. Do I even need to ask about the catch? All is set forth in a contract, guaranteed therein. You must merely sign it. If you wish to live, that is. Now, since a digitized psyche is not legally an individual, the contract entails relinquishing your rights. A temporary measure, naturally. No, not about to become the property of Arasaka Corp. Current participants of the program are all well-known, influential people. We have yet to receive any complaints. And if I refuse? Your belongings are packed. A shuttle will take you back to Earth, and you will be dead before winter. It's no easy decision, I know. You should think it through carefully. I want to live. As do most. There's no point in delaying. We can begin immediately. See you... in the future, I hope. Yes, see you. Our staff will take it from here. Hey, what's your name? Hajime. Hajime. Let me ask you something. What would you say to a person who walked right into their greatest foe's jail to save their life? Hmm. I would say... All right. But do not forget the way home.
How's the Earth looking from way up there? She as pretty as they say? Or is that just another lie? Listen, don't forget, your implants were made for Earth gravity. Could start acting up in orbit. What I'm trying to say is, don't ignore any error warnings, okay? And when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. Time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V! How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's a sandstorm heading straight for us. So, yeah, you're missing out. No, oh, but seriously, we're, we're all getting by. Family never stops growing. Work's always piling up. Sometimes all I wish for is a good night's rest. But oh well, can't have everything, right, B? You know what I mean. Let me know when you get bored of the city. I'll take you for a nice, long ride. All right, now. Take care, V. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um... You're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care.
Hey, B, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck, shit. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, who knows? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you can care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. Couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Hey, it's Peralta's. V, you're gonna want to hear this. But first, you need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, well, when, when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Orbital connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh... Those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it. <laughs> 